Hello there, Seth Highwind. It's been forever and a half since I've done one of these videos, mostly because I get really bad sound output through my Canon 7D, and because of that, I just, I don't know, I don't like how it turns out. It feels very unprofessional, very outdated, I don't know what to say. I'm really rambling on here, mainly because, A, I'm testing out something brand new. I finally got my tax return in, which took them, oh god, I submitted that back in January, and I finally got the damn thing last week. So, I did what I finally wanted to do for not only recordings and other stuff, mainly for the YouTube channel, but also for Twitch and Livestream. I've got myself, um, which is now recording this with, is the Logitech C920 webcam, which is looking beautiful. Uh, also, excuse the, uh, yeah, the mess behind me, it's, uh, are going to be in the process of moving to a new place. So because of that, a lot of things are just kind of packed up. Though the move won't be happening in August. It's just kind of how the room tends to be. I'm going to look into possibly getting some sort of stands so I can actually have it look all nice and professional when I actually do some of these recordings. Uh, my head's also bopping about about because of the new mic microphone I have. I also got myself a blue Yeti microphone and also bought myself the included pop filter just so the pops could just, you know, not really go through. I was never really good at, at the audio engineering side of filming, so this is definitely something that's kind of new for me. Also, I'm there we go. I'm not used to having the actual feedback of the microphone go into headsets. This is <laughs> something I haven't done since um, film school, which is really weird considering every other audio program I've had. I'm like, I want to do onboard mic communication, and it's just, no, you can't really do that. And it's like, okay, fine. Well, then just do something. I'm like, no, no. See, I have no idea how your audio levels are playing, but now I do, and it's awesome. So I have all this awesome gear, and I really want to escalate my YouTube content, so maybe in the future I will start experimenting by doing my Let's Plays with my face on the screen once I can take care of the background situation. But I can also start just doing updates, live blogs, uh, video blogs, if you will. Uh, start doing game reviews as well. Um, like I said, the thing that really was holding me back from doing the other type of game reviews is I didn't have a direct cameraman, and I did not have a shotgun mic for my um, camera. Once I can actually get a shotgun mic and camera, I do want to utilize my Canon 7D. Um, cause honestly this logic type webcam was mostly used for just recording me being my usual self while I'm playing let's plays or eventually start streaming on Twitch. But I already do know that things are going to get even better because finally for the first time in what feels like forever, I finally have another capture device. I originally had a Canopus uh, white box recorder. That's what I used on the old Teddy's general account, and it was only, only good for doing uh, AV input uh, or even S video input. So in the event I wanted to do anything with that, I actually had to go through a firewire. And uh, most computers nowadays don't have a firewire port, so that turned obsolete very, very quickly. Especially when I have uh, my new uh, gaming rig, PC rig that I've got. So I wasn't really able to do much. Everything had to immediately turn straight into emulation for when I do my Let's Plays. But thankfully, thankfully, I now actually have um, this. Oh, great, not to do this number again. Anyway, this is a uh, Elgato. Elgo, El, Elgato. I'm probably butchering the name as, but it's <laughs> Elgato Game Capture HD. Um, why did I choose this one over other models? Mainly because this one actually does have an S-Video port on it. So because of that, I can actually still record my classic consoles. So right now I've got my Genesis hooked up to the TV. I could easily access the N64, my Sega Saturn, Dreamcast, all of those things that I've wanted to do Let's Plays on or just general streaming with, I can actually do it now with relative ease thanks to that S-Video port on that device. It also comes with the standard HDMI input so I can actually physically record things from the Wii U, uh, PS4 whenever I'm not using its onboard streaming service, and it also has a bypass to get past the PS3's stupid, stupid recording block feature that just makes no damn sense to me. So I can actually start doing a lot more stuff, and I can actually access and do things that emulation has proved to be, you know, 
kind of shitty on. I like the Bomberman Hero Let's Play, where it completely let me bypass the last half of the Bagular fight, which means now, with this, I can actually hook up my N64, put my proper cartridge in, and actually get the rematch that I felt cheated on, and actually do what I wanted to set out to do, and get a 5 on Bagular by my own means. I am excited to actually do that. But what have I been up to besides um, getting on this new toys? I've been working my ass off. <laughs> when I am not doing this, I'm unfortunately not able to get to a set recording and uh, uploading schedule that I would like because of my job. I am still working at... I'm, Actually, I don't know if I've ever told anyone this. I work currently at Universal Studios Florida at Islands of Adventure. I'm a relief lead for Doctor Doom's Fearfall, which means I'm overall in charge of the building, which is like the rank right below supervisor. Well, there's actually two more lead spots, so I'm just a basic relief lead. Uh, but then there's status lead, who every single um, spot is a lead position. Then you have your team captains for the larger venues, and then you actually have supervisors. But I do run the building uh, when I'm done, and those shifts are anywhere from like 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. or 11 to 8, which is what I was supposed to be today, but no, I'm actually actually now going to be closing the venue tonight, which means I won't get home till 11.30. But because of how, how the shifts are, per se, it just really doesn't really allot me a lot of time to sit home, okay, okay, I'm going to record this, and I'm going to get this done. Um, but there's also just trying to make sure I still have my personal life with my boyfriend and other friends. That's also really hard to plan around. But whenever I, I, I've been typically getting to the habit is once I'm done uploading something, I will move straight on to recording the next available time I've got. Um, so currently with the Indiana Jones, Fate of Atlantis, Fist Path, the next recording session will more than likely be Friday, which means editing might get done Saturday. Um, and I'll start uploading as the, you know, the next week goes on, so on and so forth. So that's the current plan. As far as Indiana Jones go, I'm not going to utilize this setup. It's going to be a little too, um, I want to say dramatic if I went ahead and switched to better sound quality. I'm just going to stick it out with my shoddy USB headset just to kind of keep it where it's at. I had to do a lot of play and challenges with um, OBS just to see how this works with that system. But I'm super excited to start using this. I'm loving how the sound quality is. It sounds a lot better than what I've ever used in the past, which just makes me giddy and excited. Uh, it's also weird because I'm not used to looking at a camera. I'm, my eyes keep focusing to the recording screen in front of me, which is not a good thing thing I should be staring at y'all. Outside of that though, I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy XIV. I really need to get back to playing Overwatch because I miss playing as May and I miss playing as D.Va. Uh, those are my gals. Those are my favorite gals. So I miss playing as them. So I really do need to get back to Overwatch, but Final Fantasy XIV has been taking up a lot of time. Uh, that was until yesterday. I haven't started it yet, but I have picked up the fifth Star Ocean game. It has been... Oh god. Like what, 2007, 2008 since we had Star Ocean uh, Last Hope? Granted, that game was very hit or miss. I ended up liking it, had a lot more variety of environments and stuff, had a good battle system. I still think Star Ocean until the end of time is probably the best Star Ocean and one of my personal favorite PS2 games in existence. Uh, but I am super, super excited to play this. This should hold me over until Final Fantasy XV comes out. Um, but yeah, I'm I, I'm excited to pop that into the PS4 and start playing it, uh, which means that should actually give me ample time to not only test out the game capture device, but I might also give like a video preview or a review as it comes in. Well, wow, that's kind of weird. I noticed for a second the colors kind of flashed, and I don't know. Wow, the rat red's really popping, and it's the way of the light. I don't know. This is all very new to me. I haven't spoken into a webcam in what feels like forever, let alone a webcam that touts, you know, full 1080p HD resolution. So it should be interesting to see how everything works, but I'm going to go ahead and just kind of end this. I need to honestly get ready for work, but it's great to actually finally talk to y'all again. Uh, it's probably going to end up posting this on both Seth Highwind and Teddy's General. I will do a all about this channel video in the future as well as probably a proper, hey, y'all, come check out the new channel for Teddy's General. Um, but thank y'all for watching this. It's 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 awesome doing this again. It really is. I 
I'm super happy and excited. So everyone take care and I will see y'all when we meet back up with Indiana Jones. Take care.